Yeah, we should be there and sit and look yeah. at it. Yeah. Yeah. It's 100 years since the end of the First World War and I've come here to Lechworth Garden City in Hertfordshire to see how one woman's Belgian grandmother contributed to the war effort here on the home front. So Carol, with the help of the Ancestry website, done a little bit of research, she ended up working as a munitionette. What do you know about that time? It was very hard work. They did suffer a lot. They were filling mortars. It was a very dangerous job, And it was actually, dangerous, it? yes, it was. But they just wanted to help the Do war whatever effort. they can. That's right, mm -hmm. yeah. And this is a picture of her right. in her working outfit. That's isn't right. It? Very glamorous, isn't it? <laughs> um, yes, that's outside the munitions factory offices, I think. It's hard to imagine, but this is the area of the munitions factory with buildings all around us and the working conditions for these women was really tough. From what you know of Irma and her personality, how would she have coped with that? It would have been hard, but she knew that this is her way of uh, being part of the war. And the same with George, I'm sure he felt that way as well. Well, you mentioned George, because this is where they met. I mean, it's an unlikely yeah. scene, isn't it, to fall in love in a oh, munitions really? factory? <laughs> This is where Irma and George's life officially started together. And it's wonderful, isn't it, to think of them in all their beautiful clothes coming to make their vows. And if it wasn't for this moment here all those years ago, here. you wouldn't be here. <laughs> but it's not over yet. I've got one more thing to show you. Come with me. Okay. And hopefully this is going to mean something very special to you and your family. Because look at that plaque commemorating oh, the okay. efforts. Isn't that lovely of Irma? and all of her fellow Letchworth World War I oh, munitioners. Lovely.